Hello, my name is Arash Amanipur and I'm a product level specialist here at Emerson. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure the Rosemount 1208A level and flow transmitter. In order to configure the Rosemount 1208A, you'll need an IO-Link USB communicator, which comes equipped with an M12 cable on the transmitter end and a USB cable type A on the computer end. Once the modem has been connected to both ends, launch the Rosemount IO-Link Assistant. First, you will need to download and install the IODDs in the Rosemount IO-Link Assistant to be able to communicate with the transmitter. In order to do that, click on the cloud icon from the top right-hand corner of the window. Make sure you're connected to the internet and have all the IODDs displayed. Click OK to proceed. Now we're ready to establish a connection with the transmitter. Click on the Read from Device so that the IOLink Assistant can find the Rosemount 1208A. To configure the Rosemount 1208A, you can first start by selecting the engineering units that you prefer. In order to get the desired reading from the transmitter, you need to input the reference height for your application. This measurement should be equal to the distance from the device reference point and your desired zero level point. Next, you should configure the outputs of the transmitter. Output 1 can be configured as a digital output or IO-Link mode. Output 2 can be configured as a digital output or an active 4 to 20 milliamp analog output. In this scenario, we will be configuring the 4 to 20 milliamp output and that can be done by setting the corresponding upper and lower range values. In this scenario, we want to configure the transmitter to output 20 milliamp when the level is 9 meters and 4 milliamp when the level is 0. Make sure to click on Write to Device to send the configuration to the transmitter. For basic troubleshooting, you can analyze the Echo Peaks under the Echo Peaks tab. The Rosemount 1208A transmitter tracks up to 10 echoes at the same time, and it has logic built in to make the decision on which of these echoes is the surface. Such as in this case, where the sensor has decided this echo to be the surface. Also, for a general overview of your setup, you can switch to the dashboard view, where you can see live data of the readings. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please reach out to your nearest Emerson representative.